Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day three. So we're gonna start off with our contacts applet today, and in order to know which one is the contacts applet, we're gonna go ahead and click on the big red box here with the KW. We'll see contacts as our second applet down. We'll click to open that applet, and you can see inside our demo account, we have zero contacts added so far. So the first thing we're gonna work on is manually adding a single contact. So we would do so by clicking on the teal button in the top right hand corner. And when we do, we're going to get a pop-up or a modal here that allows us to begin to manually enter the contacts information. We've also got a walkthrough here that talks to us about each of the sections of this modal and what information we might consider adding in. So we'll start with our favorite fictional character, Marty McFly. We're gonna put in a fictional email. We're gonna skip phone number for right now. We're gonna say we met Marty, maybe door knocking. If you go through this lead source list, I think there's close to 200 lead sources that have already been created for you. <coughs> Excuse me, so feel free to look through, sort of see if that lead source you're going to use already exists. Um, if not, you can create your own custom one by just clicking on create custom source. Uh, but I would advise to look through the lead source list first, such that you have the same lead sources throughout. Uh, next up, we've got mark as lead. Uh, inside of command, leads are typically thought of as people you have not yet made contact with. You haven't connected with them. Right, so have their contact information but haven't connected yet. This is somebody that would be labeled a lead and you can uncheck it later when you're ready to convert it to a contact. So it's a little bit different than real estate thought in general. Lead is usually a hot lead. I've got them in my car, I'm showing them properties. Uh, inside command, typically lead is someone you are not yet in communication with. I always just try and keep it really simple. If they're a contact, we have made contact. If they're a lead, we have not made contact. Hopefully that explains that. Next up, we can choose some tags. So tags are a good way to sort of uh, classify your database into smaller sections or groups. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna make sure that everybody knows that Marty McFly is a fake person. So we're gonna add our fake people tag. And in this case, uh, Marty McFly was a movie character. So we're gonna type in movie character and we don't have a tag for movie character yet. So we're actually gonna create a custom tag and you can see that we have a series of eight different colors to choose from. We're just gonna choose the color red. We're gonna make sure we click add and that has now added that tag to this contact information. So we've got name, email, phone, lead source, whether we're gonna mark them as a lead or not, our tags, we can go into additional information. So you can see if I click on additional contact information, we're gonna have some additional method of contact information, additional email and phone number. We've got street address that we could enter in. I don't know if you guys know this, but Marty McFly, his fictional address from the movie is actually 9303 Lion Drive. And that is in Hill Valley. California. In this sense, that's actually a fake address. And so you can see it's not coming up in our list of addresses to select from. So I can actually create this address manually. This would only come up typically if this is new construction. In this case, it's coming up because this is actually a fake address. And yet, typically, because command is connected to Google and Google Maps, more often than not, it'll actually supply the correct address and you can select from that list. Next up, you can actually see we can add in some additional social profiles. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc. We can go into the about section and add in legal name, description, birthday, home anniversary, any additional relationships that this person may have, uh, whether we have the uh, maybe Marty McFly's uh, wife's name, his parents' name, his kids' names, those types of things. We could put in some additional information about where Marty works. 
and we could also add some custom fields which we're going to get to in a future video coming up here in the next couple of days but once we've gone through and added all of the information that we have available to us in order to add this database contact to our contacts applet we would just finalize it by clicking on create and we can now see it says hey nice job you created your first contact our data shows that agents with 201 contacts are most successful keep pushing you're on your way and i can click on got it and it actually opens up this contact record and you can see we've got name tags email lead source and then you can see based upon that fake address it actually assigned us to a neighborhood and as we scroll down, that's where we can find the home address, mailing address, and any additional information that we may have added to this contact record. Now, in tomorrow's video, we're actually going to go through the contact health score, how to add additional information to get that contact health score up a little bit. And we'll start to break down the different tabs that are available inside this contact record. So a little bit of a deeper dive in the contact record itself. But that's it for today, how to manually create a one-off contact inside your contacts applet in KW Command. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.